for large systems. Uh, in particular, uh, we're talking about uh, retrofit heat systems and solar systems that have been very, very well to retrofit in, in existing houses. Um, it's just a simple matter of putting the vector on the roof. Normally speaking, if you have a suitable orientated roof, then piping uh, it down into the silver below the roof, and you will probably have to change the silver, etc. Um, a lot of people uh, have various, I uh, see various barriers to solar or hot water systems in Ireland. People have a perception, a negative perception, that there isn't sufficient hot water uh, or solar uh, in to uh, heat our hot water, etc. Well, that's not the case. Um, also, uh, I suppose aesthetics is a certain case for some people. Some people don't like to see these things on the rooftops, especially off the road. Um, some people prefer the look of maybe one system to the other, etc. Um, cost is another issue, I suppose. Um, a particular capital cost because that's the only issue with solar systems. Um, I just want to take you through a couple of these systems here and uh, explain maybe the difference between the flat plate collector and the uh, vacuated tube collector. This is a, a system here, it's very robust, um, needs almost nil, uh, no maintenance whatsoever, very, very strong. We could walk up that and um, it would be fine. The uh, tubes on the other hand, as you can see, they're a bit more delicate, but they are more efficient. So it's a case of toss and climb almost to uh, decide which one you might prefer yourself. They're more efficient because uh, of the vacuum in the tube. Here we have a tube here, and they're evacuated. In other words, there's a vacuum there. The sun beams the energy down to the absorber here, this um, dark blue colored absorber, and that in turn then heats the fluid in the tube here in the back, and it heats this at the yoke at the top here, which plugs into the uh, manifold. Now, the other great thing about tubes is that they can revolve, each tube can be revolved individually. So, for example, if we have um, a roof which is ever so slightly east facing or west facing, and not maybe the ideal orientation, what we can do is we can revolve, each tube can be revolved ever so slightly to improve the orientation. So that's a big advantage of tubes over flat plate because obviously you can't just keep up the end of a flat plate on the roof. Now, um, the other thing I must say about tubes is they do on occasion lost their vacuum, and that can be a bit of a problem. It's not a major problem, but from a maintenance point of view, tubes do need a little bit more maintenance than flat plate panels. They are more efficient, but they do need more maintenance, so I suppose it's possible to see. Um, cylinders, cylinders nowadays tend to be um, a single cylinder with a dual coil. So what you find is the solar system will be connected to the bottom coil as a preheat system, so it be designed to preheat your hot water. On a day like today, although it's not bad out there, on a day like today, you might get, say, for example, 30 or 40 or 50 degrees, but you might not get as far as 60 degrees. So your alternative source of heat, your oil or your gas, whatever it might be, will bring it up the remaining fortnight. So um, cylinders, as I say, tend to be just uh, around 300 litres in size. It's about 50 litres per person, approximately. I should have also said, as far as size goes, approximately one square meter of flat plate panel per person in the house or the 0.7 meters per person for tubes because of their efficiencies. Finally, can I just say, this is the brains of the whole system and um, the little DTC here, the differential temperature controller. What this thing does is it monitors the temperature in the top of the collector. There will be a thermostat plugged in here at the top of the collector. This thing monitors that. It monitors the temperature in the cylinder at the coil. And what happens is, when the temperature in the collector is above that of the cylinder, it brings on the pump. This is the pump, this is the pump station here. And the pump runs for as long as that temperature is above that of the cylinder, and then it simply stops the pump. And again, this thing monitors everything. So this is the brain. It's a very effective unit. It works very, very well. It needs very little maintenance. The solar system, contrary to what people think, is certainly good for beyond 20 years. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much.